Hello friends and family and welcome to the 2023 Champions Cup presented by Bushnell. We are here at the International Disc Golf Center in Appling, Georgia. The pros will be playing the WR Jackson course for the first PDGA major of the year. My name is Holly Finley. And I'm Connor O'Reilly. And if you like watching Wooded Disc Golf featuring the best disc golfers on the entire planet Earth, then you are in the right place here with Ace Run Pro. Let's check out this top 10 leaderboard. Kristen Tatar, the six under couple of more names you probably know maybe ones you don't if you don't then you're not watching enough disc golf that's everyone on that board should be a household name for everyone who watches on a weekly basis but if you don't and you're new then welcome yeah we're really glad to have you here on hole 10 it's a par 4 at 606 feet this is going to play as the same hole as the MPO another one of those joint holes you really want to push it as far as you want around that corner Really just make sure to be somewhere with a clean run up for your second shot. It's easy to find yourself too early on that gap or too late, making this guarded approach pretty tough. There's kind of only one window to attack. Everything else is a bit of a scramble. Oh, late drift out of that forehand. It tests all the trees and kicks down to a great spot. Katrina probably going hyzer flip with the flippy disc. Wow, get some good ground play right there. That's a pretty crazy shot. I feel like a lot of angle for what needs to happen. But Katrina showed earlier on hole five that she likes throwing a lot of hyzer down a gap. Whoa. A little collection point there said I'm gonna put all you guys right here and you're all gonna have a upshot off. Owen has other plans in mind. It gets a really good reaction. If she skipped to the right right there it would have made a huge difference. Probably made the whole play at least a half stroke harder for her. She'll have a long putt at birdie. Yeah a bit too much drift there but get some nice slide up and has an opportunity. It's so fun to watch the pros play this course. I just love all the shot shaping and hitting the gaps. And I mean, even watching the disc hit the trees is fun. I can't lie to you. Not that I want Missy's disc to hit the tree. I just love trees, y'all. Missy hit that last pesky tree on the right side. The right side's pretty clean. Other than that one tree, you really have to flirt with that quite a bit to pure it. Katrina using that green disc again that she was throwing earlier for some nice late drifts. That disc is fun to watch. It's fun to watch her throw. Might not do the same thing for you guys or myself. Ooh, own clips a tree, but she's still in the fairway, so she'll have a chance at par from there. Own giving this one Ooh. an aggressive bid. That'll do it. She definitely had chains on her mind. That'll be an easy drop in for Missy. Kristen coming in hot, just a little too much. Strong birdie. Just a little bit of the chains. Dive that one in there. If she didn't duck, I don't know if that disc got back up. <laughs> Another shout out to Flight Factory for these runbacks, highlighting some amazing play. Scoggins will walk away with a par. As well as Missy. Katrina capturing the only birdie on this card here on the 10th. It's 
a really good one to get. Yeah, it takes two well-placed shots. Hole 11, 342 feet, par three. The FPO has a new pin this year. Last year, the hole was about 400 plus. A lot more difficult than it is now. Now it's completely reachable, totally in the birdieable zone for this division. If you have a shot that will slowly go to the right, that would be preferred here, but you can just throw a straight shot and take a putt at it. They've also cleaned out the left side as well as the left corner. So if you land there, it's still just a pitch up for par. And I gotta say good on you to the course design out here and making a couple of those changes. It's gonna make this major so much more exciting to watch for the FPO competitor fans and more fun to play for the competitors too. So another good change here. In the previous years when this hole was 400 feet, the only person birdieing it was about Paige Pierce. I'd say there was maybe five or six years that went by and the only birdie ever was Paige Pierce. So I really appreciate the design catering to the other 99% of the FPO this field. Is, this is kind of a bonus <laughs> get for the MPO and yeah, y'all yeah, are playing the same, okay. the same look. It's a full power fairway turnover. It's a kind of out of reach for the forehand for, for the MPO. Oh, and Owen doesn't quite hit the gap on that one. Can she snake this one up there? Look at that shot shaping standstill at that. Elite level. This is Gannon for birdie. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's ever played more like aggressive flex lines more accurately than Owen consistently does. Just off the mark for Missy, Katrina drops in another one. Back to back run backs. getting that putter dialed in and playing in the woods. If you're putting well, you're gonna you're gonna score good. Kristen cashing another birdie putt. Her putt's just so effortless looking it it just it gets me every time. It's the little things in the putt, the little bit of wrist motion, really getting the strong pop out of your finger, just stuff that sometimes doesn't really show on camera. You're like, how does this person putt it so hard? But it's just, it's, just the, it's those little things in the kinetic chain. Hole 12 is another par five. This one is 861 feet. Throw it straight and finish straight off the tee and you'll leave yourself in a spot where you'll have two different options. We're flying down the more aggressive left side. It's a little bit tighter and more narrow. It has got cleaned out quite a bit though, like Holly's been saying through the rest of the course. And if you throw it well enough, you might be able to sniff a long eagle on the 12th. I think the birdie should be pretty easy to come by if you can keep your tee shot in a good spot and decide to play this one safe. My favorite thing about this hole is watching people's second shot and whether they're gonna go the left gap or the right gap. Katrina's in a prime position. She can choose which gap she wants to take. And I feel like there was one more tree kind of in the center right side of that left gap last year that made it a lot more kind of guesswork you feel like you threw your line and then whether or not that tree punished you now it seems like you can kind of cleanly cleanly play it there oh that was very helpful i do like that play just uh punch it to that right corner let the disc hyzer left to that good landing zone yeah this one's Right in that good range, at least for the MPO, it looks like for the FPO as well, where you can you do need to flex it over a little bit to get to that distance where you have both options available to you. You can't just throw that hyzer. You gotta really work the disc. 
You see choosing the right side, which is the wider side. It does play a little bit longer, but even if you take that side, you can still easily get a birdie from there. Katrina also electing for that side. She just wasn't in a good enough area to access the left gap. As long as you keep that shot in the open with a clean run up, you're gonna have pretty simple look for birdie. Kristen looks like she has a slow disc in her hand, just electing to lay up, but a misfire here. And will she get blessed once again? We will find out. I feel like she was trying to lay up for the right side. Nope. Still parable from there, you know, it's a five. So I feel like that was just, it's that was... almost, it's, it's just different. I feel like, I think we used to play a longer tee. We did, that short tee is new. That only showed up a few years ago. When I first played this event, we had the long tee the same. back by the yeah. wooden clubhouse. Yeah, same tee that we play. Yeah, this course has really evolved for the FPO division over the years. Definitely glad to see that the game has grown and there's more resources and more ability to make these changes, especially for the top level of our game. Ooh, unfortunate to catch that last guardian. Going to make that one a bit of a tester. Would have been a simple putt if not. You can kind of use this little collection bowl in front of the basket to slow you down if you come in nice and low on this one. Look at that long putt, like it was nothing. Just a 45 foot birdie. Run back from Flight Factory. If you're here in Appling, Georgia, as a spectator or a volunteer, Flight Factory has a tent set up with some Ace Run Pro merchandise. Go check it out. I'm gonna say all week that I've seen Owen out here anywhere around around the campus. I've seen her around her practice basket and it, it's showing. Great putt from Katrina, also capturing a birdie here on the 12th. Well, 12 played right in the middle of the pack today at 0.13 over par. This one gave up a lot of birdies, but also causes some challenge if you don't put yourself in a good spot and then try to do too much. Clean back nine so far from our card. Here we are, hole 13, par three, 351 feet. We've also got a new pin position this year. Uh, if you have a shot that can do a slow turnover, that would be preferred, or a, you know, a sidearm. I don't have a sidearm this 350, so I don't think about that right off the bat. You can also just throw a straight shot if you're not good at turnovers and take yourself a circle's edge putt. It plays slightly downhill. It's easy to turn it too hard and end up in that corner or saw it off left. But again, they've cleaned this hole up a lot. So places before that were unplayable are now pretty easy to pitch out of. I didn't like it. Katrina first on the tee after her four straight birdies. And if she didn't catch whatever she hit on the ground there, she might have slid up for another great opportunity, but going to be a bit outside of where she wants to be. Own smashes it, smashes it around the corner, but doesn't quite make it. See if Kristen can get up there for a birdie putt. Makes the correction on that disc. Oh, I guess she threw back in earlier when she flipped it over. So I guess you can't really call that a correction. I'll correct myself, sorry. <laughs> a correction of the correction. That's a little low. Is it gonna have enough to get there? Not Ooh. quite. Yeah, it gets gobbled up by the ground play similar to Katrina's. Those pine cones aren't very forgiving. I love the way Owen just takes whatever driver sharp rim disc and just chops it up there. It lands right inside the circle. 
It's like when you start playing, you're you're doing this sort of stuff, and people tell you to progress your game. You know, you need to use a mid. You you need to throw a putter now. Well, it's proof that you don't need to do that. Look at Own Scott. She's using a destroyer for upshots sometimes, and she is ranked top five in the world. You just make so, all your putts like Own, and you can throw whatever you want, guys. Yeah, it's really whatever works for you. This is Kristen Tatar for birdie. And she gets it. Another wow. one. Another one. Reaches into those chains, holds it. Able to pick up one of only six birdies here on the 13th for the day. Home yeah. with a very good tester clean up that par. Is this one another new, this is a new pin location as well as of this year or? Yes, yes, brand new this year. Let's go, another great change. Katrina's birdie streak runs to an end, but she still threw a pretty good tee shot. Here we step up to the 14th to par four at 579 feet. Throw it through this gap and crest to the top of this hill, ideally, so you have flat footing for your second shot. You can play out wide like the drones flying to try to attack this one for the cleanest way to get there, but it also adds a little bit of distance. A lot of players will try to test that inside corner and try to get skinny through the trees. Definitely a really good birdie to pick up. That looks like position one right there from Kristen. Let's see if anybody can match or beat that. Yep. Katrina's shot also in a great spot. A little bit lower from own, but I imagine it's gonna get a flare skip. And she has just gotten so many rolls today, but it doesn't matter. She's still playing great. Oh, sorry. Missy needs to beat those trees. Oh. And she does just that. Look like she might take a kick left off those trees, but probably held her breath and was able to squeeze by. Everybody has a chance at birdie here. It's gonna take a really good approach though. That actually put Owen in a decent position to play the hole for par. Yeah, not the full flight she wanted, but being short left over there definitely opens up the approach compared to being pinched on the right. And if you're not good at turnovers, um, it's fine to land right in that corner. You can just play a straight shot, play it for par. Katrina shows us just how perfect she is at turnover. She gets up there inside the circle, putting for birdie. Austin giving her some nice, big, slow claps. He knows how tough that shot is. It really is. You can tell the crowd loves Kristen Tatar, especially one fan out there. Yelling every time she touches the disc. I love it. Owned inside the circle. She'll have a par putt. Missy's had a lot of these uh, circle two looks today. Yeah, and they've been long circle twos at that. So short circle twos, we know she's pretty dangerous. But once you get to that back edge, it's, it gets pretty hard to be aggressive over and over. Kristen missing the birdie op here on the 14th, but not Katrina Allen. Back on track. Katrina hits those little guardians, but able to get a clean stance and knock that one in for one of eight birdies here on the 14th today. <laughs> we got some enthusiastic fans, it sounds like, and we love to see it.
Kristen picking up her competitor's chalk sack class act move. Kristen takes the paria. Shout out to sweet and classy competitors. I forgot my mini today and my teammate Jessica Weiss let me borrow one for the whole round at a major. Very kind, she didn't have to do that. Exactly, I could have been miniless. Hole 15, par four, 543 feet. I feel like I've said this every time it's my turn to talk. This is one of my favorite holes on the course. I think the whole course is just my favorite. I think most of the tour agrees with you, Holly. <laughs> the tee shot is incredible, okay? You're gonna take this right gap and you can do sort of a flex shot. Uh, punch it to the left side, let it get over to the right, finish left. If you can make it over the peak of the hill, you are in primo position. A lot of times in the past, just getting past the ditch was good, but times have changed. You know, we're trying to get over the peak of the hill now. Yeah, if you can get a sight line on this basket, it makes that approach so much easier than throwing it blindly down the hill. And Katrina probably will have just that. Finishing left makes it a little more open even. Also, this is another new tee pad. Not this year, but... A couple years ago, they did install this tee pad for us. So I think that's why making it just past the ditch was sort of the number one goal in my mind. But yeah, even for the MPO, getting past the ditch, you definitely did your first job. And Exactly. Owns hit the gap and fading left is okay. There's a lot of space to work with over there. <laughs> left side will open up that forehand that she likes to throw. Missy is holding over nicely. Looks like it got some ground play too. Missy first up, coming into the green. Another rare forehand. I think that's only the second of the round for her. Mm-hmm. This is own second shot. And if you don't make it over the peak of this hill, you often can't even see the basket on your second shot. So you're kind of just picking a gap, an aim point, going for it and hoping you land close. Yeah, you'll see a lot of players even kind of take a little extra time to run up and get a visual on the basket so they can really pick out, kind of do their trigonometry. And oh, Kristen pushes over that ditch to the backside in the <gasps> water. Ooh, this is such a great rules situation. I can't wait till she gets there for her putt. Get your notepads out. Get ready to learn, y'all. Missy masterfully slides it down the hill, not quite as left as she'd want, but right in her comfortable range. Good control to have it die out right at the basket and not go deep, especially being a downhill dry shot. Katrina as well. Yeah, and it's not quite what Katrina was looking for. She was super close though. This one is so far downhill that hitting one or two feet further sometimes can make the difference between 20 feet of slide. <laughs> Own Scoggins. That is I mean, filthy. God, girl, the putt on you. Flight Factory sponsoring no another one run back. Can't even talk. I'm so impressed. <laughs> no one's impressed too. Katrina getting aggressive with the that jumper. Was deceiving. I thought it was in, and then it was behind the basket. All right, Katrina for par. 
That's a strong comeback there after running a putt that she maybe didn't need. Those are the type of putts that really help you stay in it mentally. 100%. Yeah, par putt from Missy, really strong. With authority from Missy, flat Thorita. on the strike. All right, so Kristen's in the water, it's casual, but the rule is you have to take first available. You see, first available is on that mud right behind her disc. Not at the top where it's convenient or safe. First available is on that annoying hillside. And that is a really... If you, can, if you can physically stand there, you got to do it, you guys. You don't even have to stand. You, you can, can sit. sit. Standing isn't a requirement to make a shot. As long as all your balance points can be behind your mini. Yes. So we saw a guy last year uh, have that same uh, scenario, Albert Tam. Do you remember that? Did he take her all the way to the top? His or? card mates, uh, I think he just stood in the water and made the putt. Oh, yeah, I just do remember sunk that. his shoe. Yeah. I do remember that. <laughs> Last week, if you were watching at the Blue Ridge for MPO, Calvin had to throw on top of a boulder because you actually couldn't get into his lie. So that was interesting. And here we are on the 16th. Little switch up from the two par fours we've just seen. This one really forces the disc to move from the left to the right. Beautiful uphill turnover shot is going to be the best line for this one. You will see some forehands attempted, but the way the backhand shapes is just really the way to go for a right-handed player at 297 feet probably going to be some kind of understable or neutral fairway for most of these players maybe a mid if you're feeling frisky except for own own working that flex on this hole is so tight and yeah some bark off the tree and she is out of bounds you almost have to throw a hyzer forehand with an understable disc on this one Flex line just makes it so much tighter. That is looking great. Oh, the last stump. Katrina's had a couple shots that she could be right there with Kristen if she just has her disc finish ever so slightly different a couple times and playing in the woods can do that. It can, it can wear you out. Kristen misses really far right. Does she stay in bounds? I couldn't tell. It looked like it was not even on the good side of the creek. If so, that is absolutely some champ love. Missy definitely sticks it up there. Got about 45 feet up at the basket. I feel like this is one of the stronger shot shaping drives uh, of the event. It's, it's super uphill. It's really exaggerated in the turnover. And if you do it too hard, you can go OB. And if you don't commit enough, you don't have a putt. It's a really fun shot. Truly is. Missy for birdie? Ooh. No, sit. Come oh. on. Is it a free redo? Wow. Uh, I almost want to talk about what happened to my round on this one, but I'm just not going to relive that. <laughs> Let's just say mine rolled away and might have, might have hit my own stuff. You know, it was bad. Mm-hmm. Missy will have to accept a bogey here. Own as well. Um, Own not having a lot of blemishes on her scorecard today. Kristen makes good for the par there. Kind of slowed down on the back here a little bit, but still sitting really nice there with her eight down. 17 to 18 are tough though, so let's see. She plays them aggressive or just tries to preserve and take those pars. Eight down in one round is incredible. Last year, the total score over the weekend wasn't even eight down, I believe. Yeah, I feel like a couple of those changes made this course play three or four strokes more scorable if you're executing, which is nice to see. It sure did. Let's check out one of the most difficult holes on the course. Hole 17, par four, 525 feet. Beautiful tunnel shot right off the tee. Maybe one of the tightest shots we have besides that hole where uh, Connor won the grill. If you can get your shot to the top of the hill, I mean, that's about as good as it gets. Your second shot right down here into the green and hopefully you can get yourself a birdie three. It's really easy for this hole to get away from you quick. 
And if it does, just uh, try not to let it snowball. And try to get away with a bogey at worst. Ooh. And that is just the most common error here. Hitting the gap is very hard for, I'd say, the majority of men and women on this hole. That's why I love it so much. It's so challenging. This, this one in five, any tiny bit of being off and you quickly get punished. Kristen keeps it down the fairway the entire way. That's going to be a great spot. Oh, and also able to hit the gap and move into the disc a little more left, which could be good on this one. Two great shots. Let's see what Missy has for us. Narrowly avoids the trees that Katrina hit, but finds the next one down the line. Kicks it off to the left. Common landing spot for a mistake is in that ditch there. Now all you need to do is just get to the top of the hill or right there below it, and you should be fine to play the hole for par. Yeah, Katrina like still has like 240 on a touchy shot, and it's it's doable, but not easy. Right. This is one of those holes where if you try too hard, that's usually when you get in trouble. Hmm. Yeah, Missy was trying to just pitch it up there, but mm -hmm. that tough footing made the timing a little tricky. Oh, that was really good. She bit off a lot of distance. Yeah, we might see a forehand out of Missy from that position just to chip it up. Pretty guarded in there. Own is in position to get all the way to the basket if she hits it just right. I mean, it's a downhill putt. Let's see if Kristen can get all the way there. It's going a little right side, but still a putt. Yeah, the way you kind of have to throw just up over the, the rest of the hill here and then have it crest down can make this one extra challenging. Katrina, though, plays that one beautifully. I loved that one. She'll be able to save a par from there. There's that four. You called it. <laughs> Ooh, just not quite enough, but very makeable putt, although it does slope down behind the basket, so it adds a little bit of fear to the players here. For birdie? No fear in Owen's eyes, ooh. Cameraman. Conrad almost got hit. Conrad dance moves, check. I saw it, a little dancey dance. Kristen didn't want any taste of that putt, and why would you here coming in at the finish of the round? That far under par. And even a strong player like Missy, on the greens, having trouble here on the 17th. Definitely can get in your head. Ooh, that one rolled away. Oh, not able to make that comeback. Missy with her comeback a little shorter. Oh no, airmail, that is a very rare sight to see. She's been coming with some, some heavy pace on those uh, comeback putts and just a little too much there. There it is. A triple. Goodness gracious. I hadn't seen one of those yet today. I hate to see it here on the 17th. Missy had such a simple round going. Not a lot of excitement, but you know, it pretty much par is, I mean, par got top five at the end of the event last year. So par is great out here. Yeah, par is going to play solid this year, but it probably won't net you that. Hey, Top five, finish. I don't think so either, especially since they've made the course a little bit easier. And hole 17 actually played as the hardest hole on the course today. Not surprising. Only five birdies. fantastic finishing hole here in the 18th did see some changes from last year used to kind of finish right through this second gap here awesome little graphic there to show you guys 310 feet from that 300 foot marker to the pin 
we have a new approach coming in to kind of like a stadium style, allowing the fans to really pack in on this final shot. If you can crest to the top of the hill, you can attack for birdie here. If not, par is gonna feel pretty good. Katrina Allen with the honors on the final hole. She's up first. Drive looked a little left, but it's usable. Yeah, leaks left, but the gravity of that hill kind of holding it in check, keeping it straight enough to possibly score Bernie, but most likely take an easy par. Notice how much height between the ground and Kristen's disc there was. It was like three, four feet off the ground. Own working it up there, choosing forehand her strong shot. Even with that slope kind of working against the grain of the finish. Missy flips up a nice hyzer, puts herself in a similar position to Own. The new green fairway here you can see is lined with out of bounds left and right. Got a little bit of space to play with, but not too much. You can't get careless. Yeah, it's big enough to not have any kind of gimmickiness to it, but also it, it definitely gets in your head a little bit. I think the fact that you can't really see it with the upslope is the hard part. You know, it's kind of big, but at the same time, you're not exactly sure where that line's at. And it does creep in pretty close on the right side. Katrina puts that one up there very nicely. Katrina up there with the only real putt for birdie at the moment. Again, Kristen. look how low that was. Another hovercraft shot. Puts wow. that one right there with Katrina. Just trimming the grass tips. I love this new fresh grass they've planted for us. My cat would love it too. Not a bad hole to play neighbor golf on if you're going for that birdie. This is Katrina Allen for birdie on the 18th. A little bit timid. Not quite the same pop we saw out of all those birdie putts she captured before. Play it out there in the woods and then get into this open green can definitely add a little layer of pressure. Kristen makes good What layer of pressure? <laughs> Scoring one of five birdies on the day. Joining Haley King, Henna Blumros, Paige Shu and Anna Kenstein. Strong birdies to finish out. And Katrina, the solid back nine there, working her way back to five down. Very clean back nine from Katrina and Kristen. Katrina was really close to putting down a similar round to Kristen, so let's see how she comes back at it tomorrow. Kristen scoring a new course record, putting herself at the top of the leaderboard board firmly course record love to see it top 10 you can see the names we just played with but some new ones have been added Haley King Hina Blomroos Madison Walker Macy Bella Diaz Holland Hanley and Emily Beach squeaking up there in the top 10 appreciate you guys tuning in to this round one back nine coverage the first PDGA major of the year if you've never been to the International Disc Golf Center Use some vacation days. Plan a trip down here. They have three wooded courses. It's incredible. I really hope you guys get a chance to play it. I appreciate you guys coming out, spectating, and volunteering. And if you want to check out our YouTube or get some merch for us, Connor and I's info is in the description. You can also swim here. You can fish. It's a, it's a great place, so come out for a weekend.